Hi student, uh, we continue our lesson. That's a lesson 10.1, traditional, modern, and also the complementary medicine. Okay, let's see this topic, what they're talking about. Okay, first one, we see this one topic, they're separated by three of the medicine. Uh, first one, they got traditional medicine modern medicine and also the complementary medicine okay now we will go to see one by one the first one is the traditional medicine i think everybody also listen about this one okay this one normally they come from the plants and also the animals this one is a sum of the example for the uh, diagram okay, now we need to explain why it's a traditional medicine okay there is a medicine Okay, there's a treatment that using the plants and also animals and also some natural substances that are specifically applied or you say combined for the diagnosis and also treatment of the diseases. Okay, each of the race in Malaysia, they practice their own traditional medicine. So that means for the Chinese, for the Indian, Malay, maybe they got the, the different of the traditional medicine. So sometimes they got crossover, they got combined together to use it. Okay, now we're going to see some of the criteria for the traditional medicine. Okay, first one we know there's a low treatment cost. Okay, because they're using the normal of the plants. Okay, number two, there's a treatment they're using the natural substances from the plants and also the animals. Okay, next there's an effectiveness that got proven with the experience. That means you don't have experience, that means you cannot use this situation. This one uh, traditional medicine. For the dom normally we call it as a doctor for the traditional. This one they sure got experience about this, all the herbs. Okay, the next one there's an effectiveness of the treatment, but there's a slow and also they must take some time. Then you can see the effect. Okay, after that there's an inherited inherited and the practice from the generation to generation so that means this one you can pass to your generation about the technique how to do this all treatment okay the second one is a modern uh, medicine i think this one is no problem everybody also know what's the modern tradition medicine Okay, now we're going to see the modern medicine, the explanation. There's a combination of the art of the medicine in the various of the field of the sciences that related with the health science and the biomedical. Okay, such as the clinical medicine, medical research and the surgery in the treatment. So this all we call it as a medic and uh, the modern medicine. Okay, now we're going to see some criteria about the modern medicine. Okay, treatment is effective and also fast. So if compared to the traditional, uh, modern is more effective. You can then you can faster to see what's the result. Okay, number two, uh, through where through the clinical test using your blood test, you can see about the result. Okay, after that they're using the modern method such as a surgery, laser treatment, and also the real uh, radiotherapy. Then after that, sure, this all is a high treatment cost. Then the treatment uses a synthetic medicine. So normally they give you the pill, the captures. Uh, that one is for your medicine. Okay, the third part is a complementary medicine. This one complementary medicine, they're using the uh, some no medicine. They're just using some treatment about the body movement. Okay, go to adjust your body part. So this one we call complementary medicine. Let's see some example here. Okay, it refers to the various methods okay, of the health care that originate from the many culture background. Okay, this one method they convert uh, two of the main parts. First one is a natural products. Okay, number two is a mind and also body practice. Using your mind thinking, using your body stretching, uh, stretching and also the breath, go to practice. So this one method is sometimes we use with the modern treatment to treat the diseases such as the cancer. 
Okay, let's see the criteria of the complementary medicine. Okay, first one, you're going to see the consider the view of the modern and also the traditional medical practitioner. Okay, number two, does not involve for the surgery and also the stitches on the body. Okay, then the last one is does not use the medicine, drugs, and also synthetic chemical substances. That means they're never using any drugs, any pill, any capsules for yours. Maybe they're using the mind thinking or using the stretching your body example for the yoga treatment. Like this, become the complementary um, medical. Okay, now we need to introduce the traditional medicine. Actually, is what is that? Okay, you see the traditional medicine is a medicine that involves from the natural sources, such as a plant and also the animal, then without using the process of the chemically. So this one medicine has been used since long time ago. Okay, so now you see what's the example for this type of the traditional medicine. Okay, we got the Indian borage, some of the lips. Another one is a piper cementism. I think this one you see before, that's the aloe vera. Apply the gel from the lips. When you cut the lip, they got gel. Then you apply to the skin. Okay, function, they want to reduce the pain. Okay, due to the exposure to the hot objects. That means they can cool down the part if you uh, heat, if you can all the hot objects. Okay, now you see the second one is a more expensive. This one we call ginseng. That's a popular herbs. They're using for a Chinese traditional medicine to maintain the good health. Normally, this one they're using for the old people. Okay, make the uh, more healthy. Okay, the third one should be the ginger. Ginger that can relieve the swelling. Okay, the bodily pain. Okay, the next one they got high biscuit plant. They're using the lips. Okay, to relieve the headache and also prevent the hair loss. Okay, one more is a quinine. This one used to make the medicine for the malaria. Malaria is one of the diseases that are caused by the mosquito. That means they almost same like the dengue, but this one is more serious. They can make you high fever. So using the quinine, this one can be reduced. This one situation. Okay, after introduced for the traditional medicine, now we're going to see the modern tradition. A uh, modern medicine, we got some of the example here. Okay, modern medicine, there's a drug. Okay, manufactured in the lab and also you can say for the consumer. And there's a widely market. Okay, modern medicine is available for the many forms such as a pill, capsules, paste, suspension and solution. All these all things, you can get it from the pharmacies. Okay, and also the hospital. Now we can see some of the examples. So from here, they say modern medicine, they classify to the three types. Okay, first one is a energy six. Okay, first type we call energy six, some of the painkiller. Okay, the second one is the antibiotics. Antibiotics, everybody also know. Okay, the third one is a psychotherapeutic. This one for the psychologist one. Okay, now we see one by one. Okay, this one is the first one, the modern medicine, there's a energy six. So from here, we got example, uh, I'm going to show you some of the, uh, the medicine name. We got uh, paracetamol, we got aspirin, and after that, we got codeine. So this one function is one to relieve about the pain for the body. So that means we can say energy 6 actually is a pain killer. Okay, this one is an antibiotics. Okay, we see antibiotics everybody know when you see the doctor when you fever a sore throat they'll give you the antibiotics so you see function for the antibiotics they kill or inhibit the glow of the infection bacteria so that means they can stop the glow of the bacteria in your body that should be taken according to the prescription so that means doctor to tell you how to take the medicine you must follow you can be simply become the doctor go and eat okay how many tablets every day so example here, we got antibiotic, that's a penicillin, okay? One type is a penicillin, another one is a tryptomycin, okay? These two is an example for the antibiotics. Okay, this one is a third part for the modern medicine, that's a psychotherapeutic. 
Okay, we're using trip for the psychotic pat uh, the patient should not be taken for the arbitrarily. That means you need to follow the instruction from the doctors. Okay, we need to take how many dosage for every day. So we got classified for the three types. We got stimulants. After that, we got antidepressants, and the third one is the antipsychotics. So it's a three types of the psychotherapeutics. Okay, let's see the following. There's a stimulants. Stimulate and also activate the brain activity. Okay, body and also the feelings of the patients. Okay, example this one, they're using the medicine is a uh, amphetamine. Make the brain thinking, make the body, make the brain the more stable. Okay, the next one is an anti-depression, prevent more tension. Treatment is for the depression. Example, uh, medicine here is a imipramine and also amitriptyline. Okay, this one is a two of the example for the medicine to help for the anti-depression. Okay, this one is an antipsychotics. Okay, let's see the antipsychotic. There's a, a sedative effect. Okay, make it become more stable. Example, they got a tranquilizer. Then we got papiturates. We got dosepin and also the haloperidol. So this all is an example name for the method. The doctor will give you. Uh, depend for your serious, your detail for the six. For the psycho problem, they will give you the different of the medicine. Okay, now we're going to see the complementary medicine. Okay, this one situation we see what medicine or what treatment they can give you. Okay, complementary medicine that does not focus solely on the treatment of the diseases, but they also ensure that a patient is a holistically mentally and also emotional healthy okay complementary medicine is an additional treatment performed with the modern medicine to treat the diseases so there's a one of the additional okay so example here the complementary medicine uh, we got acupuncture so this one, acupuncture is normally using the uh, chinese traditional part Okay, first one, you can see they're stir, using the sterile needles. Okay, make sure there's a no virus, no bacteria. Now they insert into the specific point on the skin. Okay, after they insert slowly and gently to stimulate the nervous system. So this one we call acupuncture. Okay, let's see the following. There's a chiropractic. Okay, this one they normally using for the person when you sprain or you suddenly uh, fall down. Then maybe your bone got pain. So they're using the hand to make the adjustment to your bone. Okay, position. So they're effective for the back and also the neck pain, joint pain, the headache, and also normally is a spot injured. Okay, the following complementary medicine, there's a traditional massage. I think this one everybody also know. Okay, that's a manipulating the soft tissues in the body. They're using the hand, finger, and also the fist to press it. Okay, lets you your body become relaxed. So this one is normally there's a more famous in the uh, Indonesia and also the Thailand. Okay, the next one is a homeopathic. So this one is a medicine that given the straighten to the body's immunity against the infections of the disease. Means that mean they're using some of the medicine they put in your body to cause your body to come out of immunity. So this one is don't have any the uh, specific name. They just depends for your body got what diseases. Then they're using some of the medicine to cause to make your body to come out of immunity. So this one we call homeopathic. The following is a herbal therapy. They're using the plants, or you say the plants or the part of the plants that will take the cure of the diseases. We do not have any side effects and also do not contain about the drugs. There's an original and also there's a natural plants. Okay, then this one is uh, the use of the traditional medicine modern and also the complementary medicine so for this all medicine we separate by two sources 
Okay, the first one, the sorcerer, we know there's a man-made. This one man-made, we call it as a synthetic medicine. The another one we call natural resources. That means we get from the original, the natural plants, and also the natural from the animals. Okay, we make the differences. Okay, synthetic, first one they make in the lab, and also the commercialized for the consumer. Example, vitamin C. They sold as a pain. Another one is a natural one. They derive from the plants and also the animals. We also can say there's a vitamin, but this one from the fruits. There's a natural one. Okay, after that, the man-made, we got taken regularly when you need it. If you're okay, then you don't need to take. For the natural one, you must take continuous and also for the long time to be effective. We got another differences for the man-made. Uh, synthetic also natural resources okay for the this one is the evidence from the healing is based on the uh, clinical test so that means you need to take the medical checkup or you say the body checkup then you file the result is it you get something the medicine got effect or not okay how about the natural resources this evidence from the healing is by the trust and also past experience so the last one should be both also got the risk the risk is for the side effect if you are without any advice from the doctors for so the natural also same you cannot take over uh, over the limit okay patient do not follow the correct dosage so the correct dosage they'll tell you one day how many you want to take so it must follow the instruction for the natural also you must follow the instruction cannot eat take more the dosage although there's a natural but they still will bring the side effect to your body health we see the effect of the misuse of the medicine okay first one the causes about the addiction in if the medicine is taken excessively such as a cough syrup okay the cough syrup if you take more that means that you addict you every time you want to drink okay because inside they got drugs huh? okay number two is a causes side effects such as uh, allergies okay they got allergies sometimes they got vomiting they got headache fever and dizziness so this one is a misuse okay then sometimes it causes about the medication to be less effective the disease is not cured okay they don't have any effect although you take so much and last one maybe they will cause us about death. okay so this one is a sum of the effect if you're misusing the medicine okay so our lesson i think just until the effect only so the rest is a 10.2 i will continue the lesson Okay, the follow this one, I will give you the exercise about 10.1. So, uh, every student, thank you for your watching.